first of all, thank you for your time because I know uh, you have a lot going on. You have a busy week and you, you have a fight coming up. Which yes, really yes, don't worry. Thank you. Okay. A little bit of background about you. You've been in Bellator for a few years now. You're, you're from Colombia. And just looking at your background, you grew up in, in Medellin, which is, I guess, become popular in the United States because of the show Narcos. And uh, so most Americans think of this as like a place that uh, maybe had a lot of drugs or violence. What was it like for you growing up in uh, Medellin? It's very different from being here. Like right now, I mean, in U.S. and I could spend some time living here too. So yeah, it could be different, but uh, in some aspects it's very similar. Like all of that uh, situations and problematics are everywhere, you know, and I, I feel like maybe I didn't have a lot of facilities, uh, but even I feel that helped me to grow up uh, and look and fight for all what I have now. Like I, I did everything by myself. Uh, my my parents didn't even have uh, enough to pay for a academy. So I just get a sponsorship because of my skills, and then I start training every day since I'm 17. How old were you in your first pro fight? Oh yeah, I'm talking about my first pro fight was as 17, actually. <laughs> Be before that, I just did karate and kung fu and all kind of different sports because I was so hyperactive still. But yeah, I, I just decided to be a fighter then. What got you into mixed martial arts? And and what were you doing before that? Were you playing other sports? Were you playing soccer? Were you doing gymnastics? Um, I see you do acrobatics on some of the Instagram posts. What were you doing before martial arts? And then what led you to martial arts? Okay, as I told you, like I, I did a lot of different sports. I used to do swimming, um, synchronized too, and also uh, karate very young and then I, I go back to that at 12 uh, but then I, I just realized that I like, liked combat sports combat sports and I uh, enter in Kung Fu by curiosity and then I start fighting Sanda and when someone invited me to fight MMA was like pretty similar to what I was doing in that moment. So it was very natural. I was in university uh, uh, studying teaching for children and also doing aerial silks, as you mentioned, that that was like my <laughs> fighter slash uh, aerial dancer. <laughs> yes. But yeah, then I, I just realized that I had, I had that fire that you need inside of a cage or a ring or anything. So I decided that this is my career. What is the team that you are on on Instagram? It's like a team that you're playing on together. You're wearing like a uniform and you're competing in an obstacle course. And oh yeah. What, what what is this? Because I I have no idea what it is. It looks like it's pretty cool. I, I just <laughs> yeah. That was a reality. Uh, I enter in Exatlon. That it's a very huge reality for uh, Latino people in in USA because it's Exatlon USA. And yeah, I was there like six months uh, oh during the pandemic. That was amazing because there wasn't fights for that date and that that saved me in, in a lot of sense and yeah pretty fun and and I, I learned a lot from that too very cool now uh let's talk business you have a fight coming up next week bellator 290 which is going to be in inglewood california and that's got to be like your backyard right you're you're in la <laughs> yeah, right now I'm in San Diego. 
Okay. And yeah, uh, it's like we we're going to drive from here. That's my my first time because always in my last fights was a very long flight and everything with the weight cut. So I feel this is so much comfortable right now. <laughs> Now you're fighting uh, Diana Absaragova. She's undefeated, a Russian fighter. You don't have to tell me your entire game plan because obviously you want to keep your strategy to yourself. But give me an idea. How are you going to win this fight? What, what's, how do you see this thing playing out here? Well, I think I have a lot of experience <laughs> that make me realize what I can do well and what I have to be careful with. And right now it's like, uh, I'm prepared in, in all areas and uh, I have definitely more experience and I, I feel that's what what's I'm applying right here. Like I need to show that I'm more mature, that I can control myself because that was the, the thing that put me in, in mistakes and in bad situation was like, hey, I need to hold my horses. I know I have the power. I know I have everything. I, I even could win all of my last fights and everyone who watches can, can tell that, but was that, um, yeah, that rush that, mm, I don't know, that make me uh, make so many mistakes that anyways, <laughs> You can learn a lot from a win, but you also can learn usually much more from a loss. You you know, you pick it apart more and you find out where you could have done better, you know? Yeah, and I feel I have that in my side right now. Like, I, I know what how it feels to lose, <laughs> and she still doesn't. <laughs> well, you know, looking back at your, you know, your record, you had a fight against, uh, was it Juliana Velasquez, right? Velasquez, yeah, yeah and, and she was a champion recently, and that was a split decision loss. That's one of those fights, that's a good example of where you just didn't get the right call that night. In the last three fights, you lost those fights, but they were all by decision. It came down to some ground control here or there. Do you consider yourself better on the ground or on the feet? Okay, that's a tricky one. <laughs> you know, a very good striker one of the best in the in my division yeah i can say mm, but then when you start losing your fights people start talking and you don't have wrestling and you don't have grappling and things like that and i was like well but i i trust my my wrestling and my grappling like always in my gyms uh, the the girls told me like you're so strong you uh, I always won my jiu-jitsu competitions and things like that and I start like losing that confidence but then I, I realized like right now I'm here training with one of my ex-opponents Ili Malay McFarlane she, uh, I fought for world title with her but now we are friends and we were like helping each other for this camp and she were like hey you already took Kana's Watanabe is back in, in your fight with her and she is probably the best grappler of whole uh, weight, weight class. So don't think you are a bad grappler, just trust yourself. You you know you had to work on some details, but it, that, that's it. So yeah, that, that helped me a lot to, to listen and to hear that kind of things. And I mean that... Um, time that I'm rediscovering and, and yeah, re knowing myself. Well, you do have a few submission wins on your resume and having watched some film on you recently, just breaking down your recent fights on the ground. I, I think if you get, if you make improvements there, I think you have so much room to grow because you have a long body, longer arms, longer legs, and that just opens up a lot more submissions than maybe other fighters that are a little bit more, you know, shorter or compact. You know, I think that's an opportunity for you to grow. Not that you're bad. I'm just saying, I think that's an area for you. As you get better there, the sky's the limit for you. Yeah, I know. And that, that's the thing. Like, uh, I get into bad situations or bad positions, but I was never in, like, a real trouble. And 
like just the limits have made me but that fight was like my second pro fight because i have a record yeah i know but a record made in latino america with people who was just starting just like me <laughs> and then i start from zero to hundred in in one second and a lot i know like everyone was expecting a lot from me and i could do a lot of things well but yeah also i uh, i know i had to work on those potential on, on that potential that everyone knows was there but yeah it's it's uh, <laughs> a difficult path <laughs> The nickname Azul, which means blue, correct? In, in Spanish, why this nickname? Where did this come from? Okay, Azul it represents my relationship with art, but it's also because of water. I have yeah, a, a big relationship with water, but when you think in Azul, when you think of blue, you think in the, in the sea and is as dangerous and as calm and as deep and all kind of adjectives that you can put there like that's me beyond the fight that you have next weekend what other goals do you have for yourself career wise or personal wise for the rest of 2023 well for now i know winning this fight in an amazing way it's gonna take me again to the top yeah i know i can be a champion right now no one can take my confidence because i know i am a good fighter i know what it's my way i already made this history of being the first colombian in, in bellator and right now i'm maybe the only colombian fighting in, in big leagues so i feel very proud of myself and and I'm ready to show what my heart made of. If you want to thank any sponsors or coaches, friends, family, uh, training partners, go ahead. The floor is yours to do that. Thanks to all the people who is supporting me right now for this training camp, to my friends of Team Planet San Diego, to Elima to give me this opportunity of being here and doing my training camp with everything but also to my people uh, of Guadalajara, to my coach Pancho Grasso, Francisco Grasso for everything. I am so thankful with him for because it's an uh, important part of what I am right now. And yeah, uh, and my friends and family for the support. Thank you all. I love you. <laughs> it's a pleasure speaking with you. I want to say i wish you the best next weekend i've personally watched all your last you know few fights you were the slight favorite in most of those fights and i thought you were going to win all those fights and it just came down to just small little things i think you know what those things are you know you're becoming a veteran now and i wish you the best next weekend thank you for having me and yeah for the good vibes <laughs> you you know there's going to be a, a great fight and a great show Thank you, Manny, and thank you, MMA Fight Club, for having me in the show. Thank you very much. See you on Bellator 290.